Welcome back. Let's play some games on Shogi Wars. Uh, Ten minutes like we normally play. Uh, I've not played on this site in about a month. Perhaps longer. Oh, they finally added some explanation of the mode screen selection. So you could select between 10 minutes per game, 3 minutes per game, or 10 seconds for every turn. Uh, interesting that they call it 10 seconds game, but whatever. We're going to pick 10 minutes. We're never going to use the key shin button, because that's not using my own skill. And if you have questions, use the Q&A button on the application. Yeah! All right. Well, I think we're waiting for the app to load. All right, so now that we've gone through the tutorial, yeah, we're just going to play a normal game. Wait, okay, I'm selecting 10 minutes down here instead of up there. That's still going to be a 10 minute game. And yeah, let's do it. Without further ado. So, I guess today we'll prefer a third file or a central file, and we'll see how it goes. Uh, I've been watching uh, Shuji Morinaka's videos. They've been quite interesting and entertaining. Uh, good luck. But I don't know that I'm ready to play any of the same shapes that he plays just yet. Recently, they did actually show you the Urshino opening on his uh, channel. Um, didn't think I'd be feigning to play it, let alone perhaps actually playing it here. Um, all right. We're going to fight back on this edge and see what they're up to. Um, all right. So they've... Their silver is no longer defending their bishop. They might put the silver in front of the bishop. They might play bishop exchange, or they might set up so I can exchange bishops. But I think I have bishop drops defended on my side of the board. Um, yeah, okay, my pawn is loose, but it's not the end of the world. Um, further, I kind of wonder... And that's what provoked me to try this. this. I think I can get away with this. I don't know. Um, okay, this repeats the tactic. This time, it's a bit different, but mostly the same. Um... So I thought I could play something like this here. And eventually I'm going to drop bishop on 5-5 five five and everything's going to be okay. Or if not... Um, <laughs> well, actually, no, I can still push this up, right? That's interesting. That's an interesting response. Um, hmm. I'm not sure how to counter it. Okay, I don't anticipate another bishop exchange. So we're going to play this kind of weird shape. And somehow this will be okay. I want to play the pawn up, but this limits the options for my bishop. Okay, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> We're going to have too much fun. 
so yeah we have a war over a tempo here I guess my king's gonna be part of a central house sort of castle um, he's decided not to go play into the Mino on the right nor to play into whatever I might could have potentially built on the left but didn't instead we're just gonna like bring everything forward and push right toward the middle like this were some kind of handicap game or something which might not be so bright but yeah this if they start trying to open up lines for the bishop to go various places um that opens possibilities for our pieces as well right so now this brook is exposed uh this pawn's exposed um Let's stop dallying bishop 5-5 five five and just play it. I know potentially I could have done pawn 5-5 five five had I not dropped this here. But I think there is some value in actually starting the attack. Um... Yeah, this looks kind of fun. If the silver chases, my bishop just goes forward. If the pawn chases, I'm not too concerned about that. And if they start defending, we can pile up harder on this square. Not um, the rook doesn't have to stay in the center. Yeah, I wasn't so concerned about this. Maybe I should have been. I don't know. Let's go back one. Their bishop is trapped. This is the position that had me stumped the most. Um, I guess we should take clear the path for the rook. And I don't know what to do next. YOLO! This is risky, but... Why not? We've come this far already. Alright. So silver protects the pawn. The silver is the only piece protecting the pawn. The knight is in a very vulnerable position and doesn't care. Um, so... Potentially, I might be sacrificing a lot of material very soon here, but also their king is as exposed as mine is, and mine's pretty badly exposed. Um, I got impatient, but this looks fun. It's probably not going to look as fun in a couple turns, but for now it doesn't look so bad.
Okay. Well, that's uh, bold. Did not expect that. So that just lets me wallop, uh, start attacking right away. Like, I didn't expect such a calm move in that circumstance. Um, jeez. Nerves of steel, man, I tell ya. Alright. Well, thankfully my bishop covers the square two in front of my king. 5-3 here. Okay, what's the thought here, I wonder? They don't have a bishop in hand. Go for oh, I see. But before they do this knight fork thing, uh, I should just take here. And I have the knight fork covered. Right, so they defend. Defense is a reasonable policy, but I'm not sure it works here. Um, I'm not saying I'm playing the most reasonable moves, but those look okay. Um, So I could escape my bishop, or I could take this and give up another knight. That'd be way too risky, I think. Um, I guess we'll escape the bishop. Got three minutes left. can do better. This is sad. But yeah, I need to activate my silver here. And I don't see any other path forward. I had this gold drop in mind for many moves, but thought I would have some mating attack first. The mating attack never showed up, but we still have this gold drop. So we play the gold drop move. If they drop another knight here, I don't know what I do. I guess we take the bishop but it's still not comfortable at all. If they take and then they drop another knight, my silver attacks the knight. So, yeah, we're eventually going to take this bishop. It's not going anywhere. Um... Hmm... 
That's clever. It's a good move. All right, let's protect our center. Yeah, this prepares to get their rook into the game. It's a really smart move on their part. Um, at least it looks smart. In practice, it might be dangerous. So, now we're threatening to promote a bishop. Also threatening to take this bishop again. <laughs> Maybe moving my silver was a waste of time. Yeah, this king is surprisingly hard to hit. I gave up my rook to try to not get mated. And I'm doing well on the not getting mated part, but um, it'd be nice if I had a good attack. This rook is strong. All right, so... <sighs> I don't know anymore. I can't just let this bishop hibernate there forever while they can continue attacking. So... We're going to take their pieces. And we're going to get a million pieces dropped on our head, and it's going to be fun. So we've taken all the things, and hopefully are safe, but probably not. <laughs> oh, so we put a rook on our second rank. No. It doesn't work the same way for us as it did for them. One can dream, but dreams are not always reality. This is silly. Um... This is getting sillier by the move. What in the world am I doing here? Okay. Oh, I invited a pawn drop. That's not super smart. Um... On the other hand, it is my turn to attack, so let's enjoy that for one turn. Um... And pray that we're not mated. Um, Ippun. 
the threat is silver drop mate. At least I thought it was mate. Uh, it might not be mate. No, but my dragon joins the silver. That's the point. That's why I wasn't so concerned about this. I think that's his mate. I should play a little more carefully, but I think we got it. Thanks for the game. Alright, let's play another. It occurs to me, you probably are getting a lot of echo feedback. We're going to turn the volume down slightly. Good luck. Oh, we get Gota again. Alright. Um, I'm trying to remember. This is fine, right? <laughs> Maybe? Oh, man. Alright. Here we go. Playing a real Shogi opening. Um, wait. I play this up first? Did I play the... I don't remember. Yeah, no, we play the rook first. That's how we do it. Um. So I can defend my center this way. And... Um, yeah, this is fine. All right. And now what do we do? Um... Put pressure on this side, give our bishop somewhere else to move. How do we attack Mino Castle? I don't remember how we attack Mino Castle. <laughs> that seems like a small detail, doesn't it? Um, so... I think we clear the way for the rook here. Think this is okay? Drop back here. Um, oh my god, I should move the bishop out. I don't remember my openings at all. No, moving the bishop out is well characterizes this opening, but here this is unusual in my eyes. But what do I know? Um, we're gonna learn something today. We're gonna learn it the hard way, I guess. Uh, oh, it's the bishop goes on the left, doesn't it? I don't remember any of this. So they're threatening to trap my bishop. Um, so I have to react somehow to that. Okay. I don't know. 
I'd like to attack on the left side of the board. If I could just find an attack. Um, I guess we push again on the edge. Normally we don't get this kind of pressure, but maybe... Maybe we're accidentally doing tomahawk or something. I don't know. Um, can drop this back one. And now our bishop has full command of the diagonal. I mean, yeah, they have a different diagonal. And that's... Oh. Okay. So this is the game we're playing. I see. If only I'd taken the time earlier to, like, stop that from happening. Um, well, um, I need to clear this pawn, but, hmm, so much fear and uncertainty. So, so much fear and uncertainty behind this move, but what can you do? <laughs> Um, yeah, this is super risky, but I don't know what else to try. Rook takes is tempting, but then they just pawn drop me. Well, hmm. Hmm. Okay, you got my curiosity. I can't figure out how to use my rook anyway. But I bet I could figure out how to use a bishop here. In this position where, like, every diagonal ever is open, I think a bishop could maybe be useful. Alright. And against this, I wanted to see how this would play out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I saw that. Saw that. And now what? Was this the idea? Because this looks way more fun for me to play than for you to play. Unless I'm missing something. Um... Yeah, like, this is super fun. Super ultra mega fun. Um, yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Let the tactics flow. Curious. I mean, this is just a bad shape, so... Like, I'm not sure why they wanted this so much. We've got two pawns and four other pieces in hand. 
They're threatening a rook drop on their back row. They're also threatening to drop stuff right up in their king's face. Also, the back row might not be the best place for the drop. So, yeah. The world is full of possibilities here. Mm -hmm. And we've got so many pawns. We've got three pawns here, so just push the one and just keep dropping pawns till we get tired of dropping them. Um... Guess we'll take a knight. If we have to. Guess we'll protect our king if we have to. Maybe dropping closer was safer? I don't know. All right. So we'll take one of these. I see I'm not the only person who has a pawn. Um Hmm. Good point, sir. Interesting. I think my king survives long enough for me to get away with some a little bit of nonsense here. Attacking and defending. So yes, this gold is hanging. Yes, the other gold's hanging. But I think my counterattack is decently strong here. Mm -hmm. Um... Sure, let's blockade that square. They might have used that for an attack. And while they're taking stuff, I can take stuff too. Um, I guess I underestimated this mate threat here. Uh, yeah, that is actually a mate threat. So, crap. Um, guess I have to defend against it. Hey, guess who's got another pawn? Oh, I guess they can just oscillate back and forth, can't they? Alright. So I need a better plan, I see. Um... Guess we'll attack this way. Although this, like, hangs my dragon in a way if they do... Well, yeah, they actually they do have a bishop to pin or fork me. 
So I would sack the dragon in this case. Hey, welcome. So once the gold moves, if the gold moves, we can consider pushing this again. But then the gold takes it. So I need a better idea. Hmm, I'm not sure. I'm out of good ideas. Maybe night drop right in front. It's not a good idea. But it's not a terrible idea. Okay, so they're again reinvigorating this threat. Um... I guess I missed something important there. Am I mated? It smells like mate. I don't know. Ippun Sanjubio. That smells a lot like mate. Um, Hmm. Yeah. I was a bit concerned about that. Oh, I forgot. It also seals off the exit for my king. I need to have at least some concern about that. Um... Yeah, fuck. I don't know. I have no idea how to play this. My dragon's out of play. And I'm super duper mated. Um... Especially because I placed the only piece I could use to defend my king. <sighs> so, so now what? Um, hmm. I don't know. Yeah, thanks for the game. Well played. All right. Well, let's try again, shall we?
Good luck. If at first you don't succeed, skydiving is not for you. Uh, I keep forgetting. Is this a position where I could do something crazy? I feel like this is the position where I get to do the crazy thing. But maybe I'm crazy. How bad could this be? I don't know. <laughs> How bad could this be? Um, oh. Wait. Hmm. Alright, I've got to find out. I've got to find out just how bad this is. But in my mind, this looked quite interesting because I took a piece and they took a pawn and I get to take another piece. Um, and potentially a lot more. All right, let's keep taking things. Um, I guess we retreat. So they do have a pawn foothold in our position. Um... I forgot that wasn't a free piece. I just got carried away. But it's probably fine. I mean, I made this far more dangerous for myself than it was a minute ago, but it's probably fine, right? Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> um. Just have to be careful not to walk into a king rook fork. But otherwise, we'll find some way to get back into a normal game eventually. Oh, I lost a lance to do that exchange, is what I did. I see. It's okay. Yeah, now that I'm doing the math, that particular exchange was a loss for me. Um... Okay, they block my rook. Um, seems like an okay place to put a bishop. It allows me to follow with a knight drop. I guess they could meet this with the bishop drop of their own. I didn't really think about that until just now. Um, yeah, actually that's smarter. 
7分 Alright, so I have no initiative is basically what this boils down to. Um... These pieces defend each other. Okay. If I want to survive this game, my king can't sit in the center all day. Ah, right. Watch me promptly find a way to lose this game. Um... This is so sad. But hey, we're going to have a lance again. We can find a way for me to lose it again without getting anything useful, but... Um... Maybe this time I'll find, come up with a better use for a lance. Okay. Oh, my bishop is trapped. Again. Alright, what do we do? Um... Guess we have to sacrifice some material to get the bishop out of this. I mean, yes, I could drop another pawn, but I think this is the better way to do it. Um, and if they win the bishop, we... It's not trapping the dragon. I keep forgetting it's not a rook. Okay, well... We're going to get initiative, is what we're going to do. And pretend that we did this on purpose, I guess. Pretend that we're not this bad at tactics, but maybe we are. Right. Couldn't find anywhere else to put the knight. It's going here. It's not a terrible square, but Go um, it's probably better if I tried really hard. Um, Alright, we're gonna take it. I mean, yeah, we could have saved the bishop, but playing good moves is not my style. Um, how far up the board do I want to put a pawn? I don't know. Oh, we're going to need the pawn in a second, aren't we? Um, let's put our silver up here. That looks interesting. I guess the problem is that the dragon can chase the silver away. Uh, that could bring the knight out, but I don't know.
I thought something like this might happen. All right, let's see it. What have I missed? What many, many things have I missed here? If they chase the rook, this is mate in one. If they take the silver, I can take the gold. Um, sadly, taking the gold is not a mate threat. But, yeah, progress. It's not much and it's not good, but... Well, it's poor because it's not much progress. It's really quite little. But we'll take it. All right. I I should take the silver. Only cowardice would explain not taking it. I mean, at this point I'm feeling just a bit cowardly after making so many mistakes, but um, let's pretend we have courage. That is a mate threat, but pretty easily parried, I assume. Um, something. Sure, let's exchange dragons, shall we? Not letting you off the hook that easy. I have no idea. Nifun. We're going to sack the rook because I need ideas. I so saw if I moved the rook, they could keep threatening to exchange pieces over and over, and I just couldn't find a way in. So we're going to take the expensive route in and hope that it's okay. It's probably not okay, but we can have hope. Okay, fine. We'll run away. 
We can run if we have to. I don't know that we had to, but sure. Okay, oh, I'm in check. I'm gonna lose my dragon. Oh, okay, let's move the dragon out of the. Thanks for the game. I think they just had a slip of the mind there. Um,. Happens to the best of us. It really does. And at the worst of times, too. But hey, that's Shogi Wars. Uh, I feel bad for him, but hopefully we'll, we all had some... Uh, we enjoyed these games that we played together. Um, I might analyze some of them after the live stream here. Although, I don't know what I'm going to learn. Yeah, other than Shogi Wars is chaotic... Um, 81 Dojo is the force, you know, you got your little Star Wars duology thing going on there. Um, so, hope we enjoyed. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.